Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at the now, today and local time function and I will tell you a quick difference between the now and local time uh, so that you can know when to use the function like when you need to use now or when you need to use local. Alright, so quick check on the data. We have a very simple data. If you have seen previous video, I have used that that I'm using sales group, serial number, sales group, the team information or the sales team, the date, time and the amount. But this video is not much about the data because these are like standalone functions. What I mean by that is I can simply take the text and image object and add the measure. Let me first add now. So what now is giving me the today's date which is 22nd March 2020 and it is 6.28 p.m. right now. Alright, um, now if I add one more measure which is uh, today, it gives me today's date. So it is coming over here. So how we can take it in the next line. So quick bonus, add this CHR10 ampersand and you have the date in the next. So CHR10 is basically says to the click sense that move it into the next line or you can say it's a next line uh, kind of keyword for click sense. All right. Uh, next thing I want to add the CHR10 because I want it in a next line and uh, local time function. So local time function as you can see is uh, 322-2020 and 629-01. Now, so what is a quick difference? So basically if I just go to my watch over here and right click click on adjust date and time and if you see right now the time zone which I am having is this and based on these you have the times which is time which is coming now if I change it to something let's say we are to Eastern time all right so in Eastern time it is 8 59 a.m. okay and yeah that's about it it will change my clock to 8.59 and uh, to change it over here I will just refresh this by adding by just implementing one activity like load data come to analysis and now if you see the first function which is now is based on my watch which I have set right so it's giving me 8.59.58 which was the Eastern time, US, East, US and Canada Eastern time. And this local time is still giving me my local time function. So that's basically a quick difference between the now and the local time function. So local time tells me always the true local time. Um, and now is based on what uh, time zone I have adjusted in my clock, which is my system clock, which is adjustable. So that's quickly I wanted to tell you and wanted to show you how you can utilize these functions also within ClickSense. So that's about it and now I'll meet you in the new video, the new talk.